sit on the couch with, with, like, like, like this shit normal, man. She got a whole nother. I ain't even this fucking size, bro. Like, look how big these fucking clothes are. This ain't, this ain't my shit, bro. Like, why the fuck? Like, come on. Why, what the fuck? I do to deserve that shit, though, while I say I don't want that shit. You can keep it. Get out. Fuck you, nigga. I'm not, I ain't going nowhere. Get out. I ain't going no fucking where. I pay, I pay the fucking bills in this house. Get out. I just want to know why. Why? Like, why the fuck was you? Why? why? Like, Get all out. I do is go to work. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not fucking leaving. I'm not fucking going to tell my girl somewhere. Man, she got me fucked up, man. I gotta get my shit out this motherfucker first time I get out. Man, no fucking get out. My fucking shit. What you nigga? Look at her, y'all. Look. She's wanna kick it out now because she caught. So she's talking about get out. Look at her. She just on the phone like she don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I don't matter, but I'm not finna fucking leave. You think I'm finna leave? You crazy as hell. I'm not, I'm not going nowhere. I feel like I, I feel like I deserve an explanation. Tell me why. Tell me why did you you brought another dude over That's all I want to tell me why. Why? Look at her, but she ain't even got shit to say. She's sitting up here. This the probably still coming over. Ain't no telling what she be telling. Her. Look at her. Look, look. You done? No, I ain't fucking done. Cause you ain't gonna give me no explanation. You done? What is he helping pay the bills too? So what you gonna do? If I don't pay the bills, how you gonna pay the bills? You done? No, I ain't done. I want an explanation. That's what I want. I'm not. How you just gonna? How you gonna get mad? Try to flip it on me and kick me out because I found out that you got some other clothes. Get out. You talking about get out? Are you I'm serious? Going through my shit right anyway. It don't matter. Like, what the fuck you mean? I was I was going through your shit. Like, I was in there looking for my shit, and then I found this other nigga shit. Is you gonna talk to me? Can you talk to me? That's all I said. I just want you to talk to me. You went look for some shit, and you found it. No, I, I, man, come on, man. No, no, you finna talk to me. Yo, what's good? What's happening? What's cracking? It's KC the Red Pill Alpha back at y'all again with that heat. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything to the back of her neck, holding her down, locking her down, submerging her down for the game. About to get started. <sighs> Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell as soon as I'm done with these videos. Pipe in high status. You're going to get it down your phone into your ear, our ear candy game. A thousand and better is to go. My video for education purpose only. Fair use on. Go to the description up under my videos and you'll see how to get at me or go to the about section. I'm there. But, uh, fellas, before we get started with the video, if you want to uh, wanna keep creeping and crawling and want to steal your clothes and want to smell you, smell how you smell all day, all night long, you know what I'm saying? You want them to, uh, you dig? Jump right all over you like it ain't shit. So what you want to use, use some of this shit here. The Aqua, the Giorgio Armani. Aqua du jour. Got Armani Code. And I got some Burberry um, London Armani. I mean, I say Armani. Some Burberry London. That ain't Armani, but you know, some Burberry London on its way. I ran out of the bottle a couple of weeks ago. I got some on its way. I ordered it. Shit, I ain't got nothing in stores. But those three colognes I just mentioned are my favorite colognes. Well, the Armani Code is kind of new. But the, um, well, it ain't new, but you know it's new to me. It's probably last 15 years, so it's kind of new. The uh, Aqua Du Jour and the Burberry London, I grew up fucking with that since I was 14, 15, 13, young dude. Spraying that on, little girl, oh, you smell, oh my. And you already know what's happening now, they, to the knees, you dig? And uh, doing her DZ. But uh, this right here, this new thing. Aqua H2O is real inexpensive. The other ones is kind of expensive, but this was inexpensive. I don't know, about $15 or something, $20. And it's real good. It's made by Armani, though, but it's real good for when you're coming out the shower and shit. And that'll get you uh, jump started so you can throw on the rest of that Armani, you know, over your clothes and you good as gold. But uh, let's get to the video, though. I'm just schooling the uh, young subscribers. You know, they was asking me what kind of smell goods and shit that's out here and what they think. That's my deal. You know, you want to have your own, go out and try fragrances and smell around and you want to have your own deal, but that's for me. But you know, you want to, you know, you want to smell like the big dog, then you know what to do. You dig? But that's my shit though. You dig? Now you go out, you want to have your own fragrance. You want to have your own scent up on you. You know what I'm saying? Something distinctive for you. That's why I taught my son. You know, you don't want to smell like your father. You want to have your own scent. But if you like my shit, do your thing. It's for everybody, man. You know, but you do want to be your own man. But let's get straight into it, though. Damn. She cheated on him nonchalantly. Now, do they really hit the wall? Hmm. Ask yourself that. Do they really hit the wall? 
the man came in his home, or he was in her home, they were sharing the home, and found some shorts, probably two or three times bigger than, two or three sizes bigger than him, you dig, that he wears. So he he clearly know it ain't his chicks, he clearly know it's another guy, she she with a guy, you know, bigger fella, but hey, she with another dude. He screamed and shouted out, I'm paying the bills here. You ain't got to do shit. You doing everything now. Who's going to pay your bills? She nonchalantly told him, you ain't got to worry about that. Bye. Get out. You looking for shit, you going to catch shit. Get out. Nonchalantly, not caring. Now, do they really hit the wall? Ask yourself that. For the guys that they really like, that they really are into, they really admire, they really want to fuck with like that, they can still fuck with those guys. Not saying that those guys will fuck with them, picking them up, you know, marrying them, putting them in relationships. You know, no, it's not going to happen. But they can still get nailed by those guys. They can still have that interaction with those kind of guys. Excuse me, I don't know who truck it is out here, but uh, nigga, shit loud as a motherfucker. Nigga, get the motherfucking fix. But uh, she can still have that sexual interaction with that guy. You may thinking, okay, she hitting the wall. Ain't nobody going to want her. No, 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 no. Got that twisted. She can still have that sexual interaction with that guy. And in today's time, she still can generate income without his money, without your money, without my money, without any of our money. That's how I set up. We're dealing with the social media world. Whether she's on OnlyFans, only uh um Pornhub, wherever social media, she's getting paid to run ads and all that shit on IG or whatever she got going on online or whatever she got going on in life. She clearly stated and she made it very clear. Ray Charles can even see that she made it so clear that she does not need him. You get it? Fellas. We're living in a time to where these women do not need you. You must understand that. They don't need you. They may want to have you around. They may want to deal with you. They may want the sex. They don't need you, though. She clearly kicked him out. Get the fuck out of here. He's walking out steady, mumbling and what he's done. And Okay. That's over with. And while you was doing those things for me, thank you. I'm still going to do me. I'm still going to take that pipe and get fucked down. That's how she's thinking. That's how a lot of them are thinking. They don't give a fuck. She's on her phone nonchalantly, probably telling her friends, girl, he here mad as a motherfucker. He, he hating. He on some bullshit. Or she's probably texting him, talking shit to him while he's out in the parking lot, chilling in the car, undisclosed. Ooh, hit the like button. You don't know? A lot of shit go on out here, man, up under your goddamn nose, but in your eyes at the same time. You just don't catch on to it. You don't know because your head's so far gone off of what you done for this woman. How she cheated on you. Who she's fucking with. Who is the dude? What the fuck you mean who, who is he? You mean, does that matter? It does not matter. It happened. It spilled milk. Clean it up and keep pushing, homie. Don't even look back. Fuck her. That's your mentality. Instead, you showing your emotions. You showing her that you wear your heart on your motherfucking sleeve and she can easily wipe that motherfucker and rip it up off of you, dog. You can't do that. Put your heart back in the place where it belongs. That's in your chest. Get your brain out of the spot down there and put it where it belongs, man, and keep fucking stepping. You're not hurting her by saying these things that you've done. You know, that's not making her feel even worse or feel bad for doing the shit that she done. Not at all. The only shows her that this dude is fucking weak. He can, He's going to be back. He ain't going nowhere. He wouldn't be arguing with me. He would grab his shit and got the fuck out of here when he even said a damn word. Now, that's scary to a woman. When you keep pushing, don't say a damn thing. She texts you, she all this shit. You don't answer, just keep, don't block her, just don't answer, don't keep your shit silent, whatever. And if you want to block her, that's cool. You know, some dudes do that. I'm not against it. But I make that motherfucking call and tell her motherfucking fingers bleed. 
I make that bitch talk on my voicemail so much to where she start being hoarse in the voice. Real shit. And I still won't fuck with you. Because you disrespecting me in my shit. And it could be in your name, but bitch, I'm paying bills here. This is my shit. My money's going here. Hell, you ain't you ain't knocking the bread that's coming in this motherfucker, right? You ain't stopping it, right? You, you letting that come through. So I'm taking all this away and I'm out of this motherfucker. Go off by myself. Build my own castle or whatnot. Keep pushing. Do not embarrass yourself, fellas. Stand behind arguing with a woman that don't give a fuck. If you see that she don't give a fuck like that, you, you, I mean, it's cool. You may want answers. You know, at that time, you probably want answers. I would not see why he won't answer. He up here, oh man, I want answers. Answers to what? It is what it is. It's, the writing is on the wall. She got to keep going. And it's going to hurt to actually suck that shit up and keep going. It's going to hurt. It's supposed to hurt because you was attached to that woman. You was slam, slam with her every night. Y'all under the same roof. Y'all ate each other. I mean, ate each other. <laughs> you, you ate with each other and ate each other. All that shit. <laughs> Y'all did it all. <laughs> it came out wrong with shit. It kind of came in together too because that's real. Y'all under the same roof. So your heart is going to be there. I'm not knocking that. No one is knocking that. Because everyone got feelings. Your heart is going to be there. But the disrespect is so motherfucking real. You better strip your feelings. And learn how to live without, without your means of standards. It's you first. You got me fucked up. That's the mindset you should have. Then that right there ease your feelings up out of it. There shouldn't be no fucking feelings. This is logical now. I put too much into this and this is what I get out of it. Damn. And you got to keep pushing. Real talk, bro. Yeah, let her do her. Now, like I said, do they really hit the wall? Technically, it kind of depends. It really kind of depends. Because in today's time, they really, they kind of don't hit the wall. No. No, not at all. You know, in Depends on it depends on how you look at it. Real shit. Depends on how you look at it. The way I look at it, they can always get the dick. You got motherfucker 75 years old, man. Then you got motherfucker 21 that'll go through a slaughter her out. Bang her out. It's no problem. That happens. It's not like it's like jumping off like that all the time, but you dig, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, it happens. Now her actually wanting a relationship, dealing with that, that's her problem. Is that really hitting the wall? I don't know. I don't stand around and see. That's her fucking problem. Whether she live or die, that's her problem. Life got to continue going on. I did time. Motherfuckers were steady going. And in my small world in that prison, I was steady going. I was growing and going with life. I can't be worrying about this shit I can't control over here. Dude. So I really don't give a fuck. That's already rooted into me. You know, I just keep going. Just like you should keep going. So it might take some time for you to get around to that, but you got to lock that into your soul. You got to have that about yourself. If not, man, you'll fuck around and fall out in depression, man. Real talk. Now, do they really hit the wall or not? It depends on how you look at it. I just broke it down. It depends on how you look at it. Me, personally, I don't know if they hit the wall. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm not standing there around for them to see them run through that motherfucker. Which I know in my heart deep down that if they call this the wall, that later on in life, she's not going to be taken too serious by the guy that she really wants. Y'all yeah, really believe that? Yeah, that's true. Now, if that's hitting the wall, that's hitting the wall. However, there is simps out there that she probably don't even want, but got a lot of shit going and he's willing to share it with her. Now, is that hitting the wall? No. So, as long as she got a vagina, someone's going to always be after it for their own reasons. Whether it's to pump and dump her, whether it's to take her serious, or whether it's to trick on her, or whether it's to, you know, dog her out or whatever. It's there. You shouldn't be there getting taken through that shit, dog. That dude is getting taken down through that shit. Man, keep stepping, dog. Go get your own little apartment and go from there. Real shit. That ain't happening right there. And look at her, man. I mean... To each his own, though, man. Nick, get the fuck out of here. I'm definitely not. Shit. She should be paying the bills. 
If you want me around you, you gonna pay them bills, bitch. Are you crazy? <laughs> like these videos, share them, and subscribe, man. Real talk. Holla.